Hello guys, today is going to be a very different episode. I'm visiting one of the farmers here in Rongai and uh, look at that. You see some things flying, some really pesky. Look at that. So today I'm in Rongai and I'm going to talk to one of uh, the farmers here. She's doing the black soldier fly. Now she tells me she's a fly farmer, obviously she's fly and she's producing the black soldier larvae and pupa for livestock. How does she go about that? Where does she get her raw materials from? This is going to be one interesting episode. Please uh, subscribe if you have not. If you have, this is the time to share, share, share. And let people know what's happening on this channel. Remember, Okulima Sio Ushamba. Welcome. What stage is this? The lava stage, the warm stage. So, uh, oh, I'm seeing there are different colors. Yeah. Tell us about the different colors. We have two stages here. The white one is the lava stage and the dark one is the pre-pupa stage. So I come from Kirinyaga County where 90% of the population is made up of farmers. And growing up, I came to realize that farmers had a serious issue or a serious pro problem with cost of production. Uh, the cost of protein, mainly the fish meal, is quite expensive. So I studied this in school and I came to practice it. All right, I'm seeing some what looks like avocado seed. Yeah. What is this? The avocado seed, yes. They feed on waste, organic waste, that is anything that can rot. Mm -hmm. So this is market waste, avocado waste. They decompose it into fertilizer. So they happen to be oh. photophobic. They'll hide immediately. They see light. For Jennifer, where would you think this is the best time to get into agroecology? For starters, the population is increasing and the land is not increasing. So people need to venture more into agroecological farming. Secondly, there is the issue with waste management. Black soldier flies consume organic waste, so they help clean up uh, waste from cities and also from homes. And thirdly, there is also an issue with climatic changes. People have been using inorganic fertilizers to farm and they've ended up depleting soils of their rich nutrients. So black soldier flies, after consuming on their organic waste, they clean it and decompose it into vermicompost, which is an organic fertilizer that can be used to grow any crop at the farm. Uh, and organic farming is the future, clearly. So these are the lava stage and they come from the insect itself, which is the black soldier fly. The black soldier fly lays eggs. Here they are. A like single can... fly can lay up to 800 eggs okay. in batch form. Okay. They later hatch into small larvae. Here they are. These are five days old. What we had there was 14 days old. So this is the larvae stage? Yeah. And what are they feeding on? They feed on organic waste. So this is, this is a mixture of wheat bran, market waste, mm -hmm. and some little sawdust. Mm -hmm. So Jennifer, why, why this? Why not get a white collar job somewhere, you know, in a blue chip company? Why this? My mission is majorly sustainability and innovation and I find this quite innovative and also sustainable for farmers. So uh, another issue is a uh, majority of the youth are out there searching for jobs, especially white collar jobs. So this is a decent work for them. They can start up and practice it in their homesteads and you don't really need acres of land to to carry out this project. All you need is just a small space and you're capable of producing tons and tons of this black soldier fly larvae. Uh, you can start up with 30 to 50 US dollars and watch yourself grow. And also with market, if you don't have the livestock or rather pets and dog, uh, pets and fish and poultry in your farm, you can sell it to farmers who already have it at their farms. Also on my case, I concentrate more on training youth and women uh, about how they can rear these insects in their own farm, which can help them develop their farm ecosystem more 
and also cut on their cost of production, majorly in fertilizer and also in protein for their feeds. So this is the insectarium where the black soldier flies are. So Caleb, welcome to the insectarium. This is Insect where what? insectarium. Mm -hmm. This is where we breed the black soldier flies. Mm -hmm. As you can see, they are all over the place. They are all over my place. Yeah. <laughs> pesky, pesky. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the black soldier fly itself doesn't feed on anything. It only consumes water. And oh, we, really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Then in here, they majorly reproduce. What they do is mm -hmm. they mate when it's sunny. Mm -hmm and lay eggs no wonder you said you like it when it's really hot yes 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 mm -hmm. these are the eggs where they lay their eggs from mm -hmm. they hide their eggs in these spaces these small spaces in here the reason as to where they're hiding them is to avoid predation from ants and other small small crawling insects that's so yeah and you have eggs all over your nose oh come <laughs> on we're gonna make some uh, omelette <laughs> from the black soldier fly eggs yeah hmm so, this is what they say, egg on face? <laughs> egg on face! Mm -hmm. So, with the housefly, it's a vector of diseases. It transmits diseases yes, like yes, yes. the E. coli. Yes, yes. But with the black soldier fly now, it's so clean. It doesn't have any diseases. It can't infect you with any disease. It's not even a vector of any disease. It's just a, a itself. A vector is like, what, like a carrier or something? Is yeah, more of a carrier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the housefly which carries the E. coli bacteria from yes, the toilets yes, to your yes, food. Yes. No, the black soldier fly doesn't do that. Now, I've realized most of the flies mm -hmm. either patched on the net mm -hmm. or uh, on, um, on the banana leaves. Mm -hmm. Not many are on the floor. Mm -hmm. Those ones that are on the floor are mm -hmm. actually dead. Why? Yes. So they mate on air. Yeah. Chiki bam bam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what that is called, position, but <laughs> go ahead. So they mate on air, and after mating, they support themselves on these banana leaves or rather on the nets. So when you, we do this and they were mating, that's mm -hmm. coitus interruptus for yes, them? Yes, 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 yes. Oh no, Shh, sorry guys, we, <laughs> we're interrupting their mating? Yeah, we should actually show them one that's mating. We oh. can't lack sound. How do they meet? How do they meet? I want to see. Back oh. to back. Oh, really? So they meet in the air, mm -hmm. then they come and lay the eggs. Yeah, the female mm -hmm. one comes and lays the eggs here. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. I'm learning so much. Now, if you told me a couple of days or weeks ago, or even months ago, that I would be touching the blacks or your larvae, or the pupa, I would have laughed at you, or probably not just believe you. But today, Jennifer has been of very great help. I've learned a lot, even as a farmer, that I can actually produce my own source of protein by having a black soldier larvae unit or the insectarium. Um, and yeah, it, 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 it's an amazing thing having a sustainable source of protein. Um, if you're out there and you want to learn from her, please follow me, subscribe. I will give you her details um, in your inbox. And remember, Ukulima Siyo Ushamba.